you probable cause? Where you at? You just pulled in the parking lot. Criminals always think they can get away from the police by lying or pretending to be who they're not. I don't bring it on me because why? Okay. I've lost my IDs. But what happens when the officers catch a whiff of their secrets? Here are four times officers knew the suspect was lying. How you doing? Hey, I'm Deputy Young. The reason I'm pulling your old is because you only got one tail light working right now, okay? Yes, sir. All right, can I get your license, registration, proof of insurance? Is this the puppy back there? Yes. Okay. Kaylee and her partner have just been pulled over by a sheriff deputy for having a missing tail light. But as the deputy waited for the driver to provide our license to him, he noticed something strange that would change the course of everything. Any weapons in the car that you know about? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Yes, sir. Okay. Where y'all coming from? Picking me up and we going to get in the room. Okay. You have an idea on you, sir? Uh. I might have. Might, might, might. Yeah, if you had your name on, like a card or something, like a debit card or something like that. I do have my ID. I just it was loose earlier. Okay. And uh, get that for me. When an officer pulls a driver over, it's normal to be worried, even when the driver has done nothing wrong. But when the driver starts fidgeting and shaking nervously, it's usually because they're hiding something. No priors. They're nervous hell. The hands won't stop shaking. He's got a commit. That's why he's shaking. I don't know why she's shaking. All uh, right, we'll go to 1554. As you just heard, Kaylee's clean, but her passenger, on the other hand, has an existing warrant, which might explain why he was shaking. Calm down, calm down sir. Hey, hey, calm down, calm down, calm hey, down. Step out for me. Come on. Face that way. Face that way. Come on. Just relax. Relax, man. Relax. relax. I, I am. Can you tell me what's wrong? Got a warrant for your arrest. Come in. Yes, sir. I'm just going to use. I'm I'm going to pay that tomorrow. I know. We don't have a choice. Today. Huh? Today? We don't have a choice, though, but a ju a judge put a warrant on me. Yeah. I understand, sir. sir if, I I don't, if I don't go pay that tomorrow, I will turn myself in myself. Uh, you know how many times we've heard that, right? No, sir. I don't know how many times, but this, you see where I'm at? I see where you're at. I, I will be. I will be. Worried that the man and the woman were involved in some sort of drug deal with the woman, the deputy had another officer bring his K-9 to do a free air sniff around the vehicle. Do me a, fa do me a favor, ma'am. Do, do me a favor. Roll your windows up and step out the car for me, okay? I don't want the dog to jump out, so roll your windows up for me. Yeah, I'm going to explain everything to you. Step out. I'm explain everything to you. So have a seat right there. The reason I got you out of the car is I have a narcotics detection canine. I'm going to run my dog around your car as part of his traffic stop. He's requesting me to do that. So I had you roll the windows up so that the dogs don't interfere with each other. Normally, officers cannot search a suspect's vehicle without a warrant or probable cause. And that's where the canine comes in. If the canine ends up detecting any form of narcotic in the car, the officers will have every right to search the car. Yes. Man, load. All right, so I'm not saying there's anything in there right now. I'll tell you the way this works, okay? When is the last time anybody has used narcotics in that vehicle? Or had narcotics in that vehicle? Nobody. So I'm going to search the car. There's not going to be any shake. There's not going to be You're any not messes. searching my car. I am searching your car. My dog alerted on the car. It's probably going to search your car. So. No, he did not. Okay. Kaylee tells the officer that there's no narcotic in her car, even though the dog alert says otherwise. She also panics and tells the officer he cannot search her car, which more or less confirms the truth. Sir, you cannot search my vehicle. If you start arguing and interfering, you're going to... Right. I can tell you, no. you cannot search my vehicle. You have no reason. What's your probable cause? My dog alerted. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. Are you a canine? Stop, stop. Hey, hey, hey. Stop Kaylee. Here's the thing. So you know the difference, Kaylee. In it? You know, I'm not even smacking. You're not a canine. You're not searching my vehicle. Can, Can you get your dog? No stop, cars. stop, stop. Can you get your dog out of the car for me? Yes, no, maybe, why not? Can I speak 
speak to your supervisor? Can you get the dog out of the car for me? If, After I speak to your supervisor. If you've struck, oh, you know you're hold on, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me explain one thing to you, ma'am. You are not in charge here, okay? Can you please get your dog out so I don't have to... We're going to call animal control if you don't get the dog out. I, I don't want to hurt the dog. <clears throat> I have my I don't want to hurt your dog. Can you please get the dog out for me? Telling the officers they have no right to search your car when there's a dog alert isn't just silly, it's ridiculous. A dog alert gives officers every right to search a suspect's car. Every the dog barks when, uh... So just like like how people are, are different from each other, every dog is different, all right? I've seen dogs bark, I've seen dogs uh, sit down, I've seen dogs just stare and point with their nose. I, I'm not that dog's handler, so I can't tell you what that dog's alert is. But apparently he alerted, okay? <clears throat> you pulled me over for a bright light. Tail light. Okay, but that's what you pulled me over for. Correct. So how does this have to do with a tail light? Well, his dog did a free air sniff and it alerted to your the present narcotics to your vehicle. But there's no narcotics in there, you have nothing to worry about. I just don't understand how that has to do with you having a tail light. While I was doing my traffic stop, dog did a free air sniff. As you can tell, Kaylee's getting agitated, which is weird considering she told the officers that there's nothing in her car. No probable cause of bringing the dog out and searching my feet. I don't need. I don't need probable cause to have yes, the dog come do. out. Yes, you do. Okay. And also, in my family. We can run a dog around any vehicle we want to as long as it's part of a traffic stop. We don't have to have probable cause for that. They're a female. 34. Again, there is no law bounding officers from bringing their dogs out for an air sniff. If an officer thinks there's probable cause to bring a canine to go around a suspect's car, then he or she has every right to do so. Okay, whoa. Let's we'll see the dog, quick. Let's get more All right. What are you- Wanna hold this dog for me real quick? What are you grabbing me for? Cause I'm about to put you in handcuffs. That's not my stuff! That's not my stuff! Open the car. That's not mine! Right, you're gonna get more charges. Stop. Back. That's not mine! Stop. We'll figure it all out. We'll see what she says about it. That's not mine! That's not mine! 1-8-4. Oh we have one more year in 10-8. Yeah, we're 10-4. We got a adult female. Adult male 10-4. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. I'm trying to adjust your cuffs. You silly. Stop moving. My wrist. Stop my moving. Baby, they're not tight. He's trying to fix it. The more you move around, stop moving. moving. You are moving. I'm watching. Oh stop. How much dope have you done tonight on the way? I, I don't do dope. As expected, the officers found an undisclosed amount of cocaine after searching Kaylee's car, which she immediately said belonged to the passenger in her car. Did you find anything in my? No. The You're the driver of the car. It's your car. It's in your car. Possession's not his. I picked him up. How am I supposed to know what he has in his stuff? See what it says. Hopefully he says it's his. I just can't help it. It's not mine. Let's have a seat. It's not mine, sir. The officer's right, unless the man in her car says otherwise. Anything found in her car, by law, belongs to her. So, where are y'all coming from again? I picked him up from, uh, I don't know whose house it was, but it was over from Michigan. It was by this bag. Okay. Who, who was E.T.? A friend of mine. Okay. More like a friend with benefits type thing. Okay. So, <laughs> what in that car is yours? Just a white bag and the makeup bag and uh, the beach stuff. Okay. Have you ever used narcotics before in the past? 
Yeah, like, okay. What did months you, ago? I mean, I, what did you I'm use in the past? <laughs> what did you use in the past? Kaylee continues to maintain her innocence, even though the officers know she's lying to save her skin. Is there anything else that she used in the past? Yeah, when I was a teenager. Well, what did you use as a teenager? <laughs> okay. Anything else that you use? All right. Do you do any pills? Okay. When you used to take cocaine, how did you ingest it? Eat it. Eat it. Is that that sounds nasty. Does he use any narcotics? Clearly, if y'all found it. <laughs> Both suspects were arrested and charged with possession of drug paraphernalia and possession of controlled substances. At least drugs were the only thing found in Kaylee's possession. Our next suspect had drugs, weapons, and many other things he was hiding. What is it taking you so long to pull over, man? Uh, I didn't mean to... Is you again? You again? How's it going? How's it going, man? It's not every day you hear an officer and a suspect say, it's you again, to each other. And the reason for that is because after the end of this very day, it'll be the fourth time in that same year that this driver will be getting arrested. Put in park for me. Okay. All right, how about with your license? I don't know my license. Please don't do this to me today, man. Do what to you today? You took forever to pull over. I was, I was trying to even get off after the road. I was trying to get off the road. No, man. you were reaching all around, digging all around. So how about with your license? On October 20th, 2022, a Florida police officer pulled over a blue sedan after the officer had observed the vehicle cut off an unmarked patrol vehicle, causing him to brake and avoid a crash. Immediately after the incident, the officer proceeded to pull over the vehicle, but the driver continued driving for over a minute and a half. During this period, the deputy noticed the man behind the steering wheel was rocking back and forth in the car like someone looking to hide evidence. I'm not asking you for nothing else. I don't know if my license is even in here, sir. Any 60, 10, 60, my license 10, 10, 10. is in here. My license is not in here. Okay. Where's your license at? I'm not sure. All right, hop out. How about you can leave that stuff. I'm gonna record it, man. That's You're already being recorded. I want to record it for my, for me. All right, hop out. I'm not gonna ask you again. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna record this. Upon approaching the vehicle, the officer noticed that the suspect was none other than Stephen Joel Horton. Joel had already been arrested three times that year, and that's why they knew each other. Hop out. Hop out. Yes, sir. I'm hopping out. I'm asking you, telling you to hop out. Hop out, yes sir. Get Put your out. hands up there for me when you yes, hop sir, out. Don't sorry. grab nothing. I'm just trying to pull up. Huh? You took forever to pull over, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to get off. No, the you already pulled sorry. off. You were already pulled over. I swear to God, man. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to do nothing else today. I'm trying to go home. Man. I'm tired. I just found out all my stuff is gone off my property. I'm not doing nothing wrong, so all I promise right. to God, man. Well, you were pulled off. Okay. I'm sorry, man. Sorry. You were already pulled off the road. I'm not, I swear to God. I'll and then you kept reaching around, digging around the vehicle. I was digging around the vehicle. Yeah, you were. God, I wasn't, man. And pulling off. I'm not trying to give you any trouble. When the officer asks Joel for the reason he didn't pull over on time, he said it was because he was trying to get off the road. He also said he was speeding because he was tired and in a hurry to get home. But the officer knows Joel is lying through his teeth. And the reason is because Joel has been trembling and shaking nervously from the first moment he saw the officer. What happens next is absolutely incredible. Right now you're being detained. You're not under arrest. You got me? It's all good. Hang tight. I'll explain it to you in a minute. Like I said, you took forever to pull over, right? Listen. Listen to me. You're not listening to me. You got burnt tin foil in your driver door. Huh? I don't park this one my driver door. Yes, you do. Come on, man. I swear to God, I don't, man. Which is common with narcotics usage. Paraphernalia. Okay. You got this huge knife by your foot, too. You got this huge knife by your foot. Grass? This right here is burned tinfoil, bud. What you got in your shorts? Huh? I'm not sure, man. 
As Joel stepped out of the car, the officer noticed a burnt piece of tinfoil in Joel's driver's door, something very common with people that use or deal in narcotics. The officers also found a butcher knife lying at the foot of the driver's seat. But if you think that's all the cops were gonna find, think again. What you got in your shorts? Huh? I'm not sure, man. Spread your feet, man. Okay. I'm not playing this game. I got it. Spread your feet. It. What you got in there? Pull it out. Huh? Yeah, take, I'll pull it out. What you. is it? Huh? I'll what is it? it? I'll get it, man. I'll get it no, for you. No, I'm getting it. What is it? Is it a little box or something? It's nothing, man. Here, I'll get it. Put a cigarette down. Yeah, drop a cigarette out. Shake it out of there. Can it come out? Huh? I'll get it, I'll get it out of there. I don't know, I don't know what, you, what you mean. What do you mean you don't know what it... Huh? What is it? I don't know, man. What'd you just grab? Not sure who told Joel this would work, but pretending not to know about something you did won't stop the police from charging you with whatever crime you commit. Is this the Twilight Zone right now? No. All right, pull it out. What is it? I'm going to play this I... game with you, bud. Uh, you know they're going to find it regardless. Here it is, right here. This is what he had. This is what fell out of his pant leg. That's what I felt up there. Yeah, probably fentanyl in here and then meth in there. The officers found a small tin in Joel's pants containing three clear plastic baggies. One of the baggies had meth in it, while the other two had residue traces of fentanyl inside of them. Meth shards? You guys good? Yeah. yeah. We just gotta finish searching. Joel was arrested and taken to the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility, where he was booked on six charges, including felonies of evidence tampering, possession of fentanyl, possession of methamphetamine, and possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. But if you think Joel is the only one who can lie to an officer with a straight face, that's because you've not met this guy. Can who move his car? In just a second, give us a second. Now you want to leave because we're invalid, no valid. Okay, just relax. We're going to get out your way in just a minute, I promise. This is the moment Chambly police officers confronted a male suspect after the officers observed him getting out of a stolen vehicle. Sir, you got an ID on you? Me? Yeah. Can I check it out real quick? What I did? What's on my ID for? Cause I saw you get out this car, bro. That ain't my car, bro. I just saw me walk by that car, bro. I, bro. I've been here with her. Bro. I was sitting right there and watched you step out of this car, bro. I've been right here. Where's your world, driver's bro. license at? You got any weapons or drugs on you? Man, I ain't got, got no weapon. Nigga, my driver's license right there. Appreciate up, it. Man. I ain't y'all talking about. All right, ID, come over bro. here for me. This your car, right? You just got out of it. I ain't got out of that car. Bro, I sat, we That's both sat there and watched you jump out the car. How y'all? Y'all? We saw you drive no, down this way, and you came right here, parked, and got out the car and walked up to her. Huh, bro? Right We're not gonna keep playing this game because I saw you get out the car. Bro, I've been talking to this girl the whole okay. time. Okay. That's fine. Where you? Drive license. I ain't did nothing wrong. That's fine. Go ahead. The suspect continues to insist that he didn't get out of the car, even though the officers had watched him drive the car into the car park and attempt to flee the scene in another car after he'd seen the officers approaching him. Come, come over here, man. Right here. Come here. Come here. If they saw you get out this car, bro, that man, you say you didn't get out this car, that's a problem. That's my witness right now. Okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's my witness right now. I hear what you're saying. I'm going to stand right over here, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. Hold up. Stay right there. Stay right there. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, why y'all grabbing me like this? Out of this car, man. Huh? Where you at? You just pulled in the parking lot. We were sitting right there. I watched you drive around, come right here, back in, come right back in, and you got out of the car. Hey, why, why why you you me like and you right here, you just back in, and you got out of the car. Now, lying to an officer is one thing, and there's little chance of you getting away with that. But calling an officer a liar, especially when he has his body cam on, that's where you draw the line. Hey, don't reach for nothing. Hey, don't, don't reach for nothing, right man. Right that's right illegal, right bro. Right don't touch I ain't did nothing, bro. Don't, nothing. Put your hand don't you move. I ain't even did nothing, bro. Y'all walked up around. on me for no reason. Put your hand on my back for me. You're just being detained, okay? You're not under arrest. What y'all walked up on me for, bro? We're gonna explain it to you. Because you don't understand. 
The suspect was later apprehended after the officers had found a gun and a key to the stolen car on him. But if you think that the suspect will just accept defeat and confess to his crimes now, that's because you have no idea how stubborn and delusional criminals are. He got cash in his left pocket, I left it in there. Uh Oh, this is you. So what, what you want to know? Um, I'm trying to figure out why they, why they messing with me, nobody, bro. Nobody, nobody's messing with you. I was with the girl, bro. I'm standing okay. up with the girl, bro. I watched you pull in the parking lot. Okay, so let me ask you a question. All right, we're going to keep it straight with you, right? Hell yeah, yeah, I ain't okay. did nothing, bro. How did you get here? Bro, I with her, bro. Me, listen no, here, bro. Stop, stop, He's saying, wait, 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 wait. He's saying, oh, wait, wait, wait. He's saying, oh, wait, wait, wait. He does. That's what that is. Jeez. Right. That's exactly what that is. The officers then proceeded to search the car where they found weapon parts and drugs. Oh, he got weed in there? Oh, okay. Well, we searching it anyway, so. Uh, now I'll take care of that so you ain't got to do no damn search for hey, I think that was out of his stuff, right? Yeah, it was in his pocket. Yeah, he's got a, um, a debit card, uh, looks like with a cash app type thing. So it, I don't know if you might can get something from that or whatever. I mean, he's doing internados in this, but. Uh, Bullmore, he's back then. Okay. The suspect was later arrested and charged with possession of a Schedule 1 and Schedule 11 controlled substance, theft by receiving stolen property, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and possession of a felony. He was also charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, possession of drug-related objects, possession of certain weapon parts, possession of methamphetamine, and possession of marijuana. But guns and drugs aren't the only things criminals lie about. Sometimes people, like our next suspect, lie about themselves, too. On August 9, 2022, Flagler County officers responded to a call regarding an aggressive salesman unwilling to take no for an answer. The officers proceeded to locate the salesman without any idea of what they were about to discover. Are you doing? Okay, no problem, no problem. I'm sorry, we just got a call about, I guess, you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I <laughs> it mean, was just, yeah, I guess, um, when people go door to door in Palm Coast, dude, uh -huh. you get calls all the time for it. Okay. Uh, if you're soliciting or whatever it may be. Um, do you have a permit for it? Um, my, if I need to call my manager, that's fine. Yeah, I don't keep my permit on I'm just letting you know, we, we get it, it's quite often. In terms of I'm it, not, we, we have yeah. our permit to work in the areas yeah. in terms of that aspect. And beyond that, I'm badged. I, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, I understand. Yeah, I, got all the I don't walk around. Well, and man. I was even here yesterday. I, just, uh, I figured I'd just, yeah, at least let you know, because in Palm Coast, you do have to have a permit to okay. solicit. As you can see, the officer here is not interested in arresting the salesman. It appears that the residents in Palm's Coast don't take kindly to salesmen, and the officer, knowing this, probably thought this was another case of that. Little did he know, he was up to one of the biggest cases of his career. I just saw you again, I figured I'd keep talking. Oh yeah, in terms of the, the there's different ordinances we, we have, but whenever we go out to the area, we always have that scoped out in terms of my mm -hmm. actual managers, and I go do my work, you know what I mean? And yeah. they take care of that aspect in terms of it. In our company, we do we do do our best to be in terms of those aspects, in terms of the ordinances and those things. We don't go to areas where we're going to have those issues, yeah. and we try to, if, if, as this neighborhood is in a no soliciting when you go into well, it's a, those I guess things the city as well. Of Palm you know? Coast. No, 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 I get you, I get I'm you. Sorry, man. <laughs> no, 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 but you know, if it's a city, yeah. I get it. But what I was getting at is that we ha we usually scope those things out to make sure mm -hmm. we don't go through these type yeah. of things, you know, to make business easier for us I and so you. at the end of the day yeah we're, we're trying to trying to do yeah. things in, in, in just in also basis. so i can notate it correctly do you happen to have your id on you i, I don't have my you id have I, lost, no, I don't bring it on me because okay. why i've lost my ids as the officer listens to him he realizes that not only does this unidentified man not have a work permit to carry out his salesman activity in palm coast but he doesn't even have an id in fact, the officer has been suspicious about the salesman from their first meeting, so he looked him up on his computer and found something that would change everything. Um, I'm out of California, okay. and, and nonetheless, in terms of it, yeah, in terms of moving out here, you can take my number, yeah, yeah. you know, know those things, we live in yeah, Jackson, I'm in no Did you have any dealings in California with any type of, you know, like law or anything like that in terms of uh I, I i have from time to time in different places okay. but whenever the people come to me and they see what i'm doing and see how i'm presented yeah, no, i usually dude, don't get bothered i'm not saying anything i'm asking <laughs> yeah. you the no no I get you. I'm, 
The I'm reason not, I'm, I'm just asking, let me tell you why. Yes, okay, sir. Can I, I'm just going to be honest with yes, you. Yes, sir. Okay, you actually have a warrant out of Texas. You know, have you been to Texas? Have I been to Texas? Failure to appear? 15, 10, 15, no. Okay, well, that's what it's for. Okay, it's active, full extradition, everything like that, okay? You okay? As you've just heard, the salesman, who is later identified as Christopher Kiwanuka, has a warrant in Texas, which explains why he doesn't have or didn't want to give the officer his ID. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm a father, you, man. I, I understand. Me, so, I, I want to do as peaceful as possible. Can we do that today? What are you talking about? What's that? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What is possible? The first time the officer observed something was off about the salesman was when he noticed that he was always on the defense, answering questions he wasn't asked, and giving unnecessary accounts about his company. Like, just make everything peaceful as possible. I'm just saying, I want to show you and everything like that if we can get this figured out as far as a failure to appear, okay? Okay. Can you just tell me about it? I'm trying to ask you a question. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm just throwing out the fact that I'm from California, that's where my ID's at, yeah. in terms of where I'm from, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm just trying to get more information. And that's the part that I'm, um, when they say the failure to appear, um, I am confused on yeah. that well, as well. Let, let's, I mean. let's figure it out real quick. Very full, serious no, conversation. No, no, no. I don't the, care if you're here. Anybody can be in the neighborhood. No, but in terms of what we're talking about yeah. now, you're saying there's a warning, we're looking for this and that, and I'm like, what's going on? And so, okay. I'm not just digging things up, I'm just saying it came what it came and it kind of maybe you kind of got digged up somehow I mean, well maybe. if i ran your name it comes up you know what i mean that's what happened a lot of traffic i didn't dig it okay, i didn't have enough. to go fishing for it or nothing okay can i can i please live my life though sir of course and we can all live our lives no, I mean, in terms of, but in terms of i'm in florida i'm not in texas i'm not even from here yeah. none of those things i haven't done anything wrong i understand i was working you I know and, and i will handle that if that's the case on my own but i mean i'm from california mm -hmm. i don't I'm working out here, that's what's going on. I so. got you, it's quite funny how Christopher's gone from looking shocked at the accusation to asking to live his life. But unfortunately for him, fugitives are not allowed to live their life. Christopher had failed to appear in court in Texas for charges of theft of a firearm and unlawful possession of a weapon. He also had passed Carolina and Arizona arrests for charges of domestic violence and burglary. In many ways, there was justice, and there's no kindness to it. You can't ignore a we cannot, it's court order. When you say you can't ignore a warrant, what does that even mean? Meaning, like, if I pull you over for speeding, I have a little discretion on whether or not I want to write you a ticket. Right. We don't have discretion when it comes to this. We can't ignore a warrant. We have to take it. You have to take Yes. You have a warrant, so we have to take you to our local jail. I don't even understand what's going on in terms of the fact that you guys are saying this. Look, Florida, you guys are saying something about Texas. This doesn't even make sense to me. It's full extradition, which means anywhere you are in this country, the judge ordered the warrant. Sometimes there's limitations on the warrant. The, this one has no limitations. I want to see my family. Okay. I don't Listen, we're not going to ask again, okay? Don't make this worse than it has to be, okay? Turn around. Wow. Uh, the handcuffs can come off as quickly as they came on. That's terrible. All right? It doesn't have to be on. I'm not even, I haven't done any. If I was going to run, I would have ran. I'm not... I'm not Okay. This, I, didn't, I didn't consent to this. Christopher was later booked at the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility within the hour, where he was held on no bond as he awaited extradition to Texas.